Yum, yum! Floyd here with a quick look at the field texture nodes in Octane for Moto, which enable you to generate planar, spherical, and angular fields that can be used as falloffs for masking. Let's take a look at these three field options. Start by adding a spherical field to the schematic and connect its output to the material's opacity channel. This field is similar to Moto's radial falloff, enabling you to adjust the falloff radius attribute to adjust the area of influence and the core radius, which defines the inner range where the falloff's influence is at its maximum amount as a percentage of the total size of the spherical shape. A planar field is similar to Moto's linear falloff. Adjusting the falloff distance determines the overall extent of the falloff's influence as a length originating from the falloff center. Adjusting the transform values enables you to define the orientation and position of the plane. The angular field produces a cone-shaped falloff. You can adjust the cone angle attribute and the falloff angles to refine the shape of the falloff. Add these powerful falloff options to your toolkit to enhance your texturing workflow. Oh, look at the time. <laughs>